Oh, October. And oh, gotta do an earring. This is how I'm dressed today. I'm just today. for a headband bandana thing but they, they don't have them but they have some other ones that are 50% off so I might have to come back for that um, but I, I got these socks here I couldn't resist with all the skeletons on me you know me I'm spooky I mean, how cute are these socks like I have like a, a hundred pair I had to have these I had to have them She said I'm spooky on top. I'm going by uh, Ace True Value. Um, Ace Tax yeah, Hardware Store. But they're playing outside.
I will be coming at night strolling Halloween lights and decorations. I used to work here in this corner shop. It was Carvel Ice Cream. Lisa family owned this ice cream shop, and I was the cake decorator here. Later on Lisa gave me the keys to the store and I would come in 102 in the morning, decorating the ice cream cakes. That was so much fun, all by myself. I put the radio on, and take the ice cream cakes out of their mold. One night on October early morning, still dark to a clock in the morning. That morning I drove up in the parking lot on the side of that door, and walked to the back door to get in. It was windy and the leaves were rustling, making noise over the sidewalk as they rustled from side to side. It was so scary. I felt like I was in a movie. I looked around before I went inside. Lisa would have boxes and boxes of crushed candies. From M&M, &M, Therese Cups, you name it she had it. I told her one night I saw a black figure like the Grim Reaper come through the door one, two, in the morning. She told me her brother passed away. He came through the door like he was looking for something. He was way up in the ceiling. I saw this black figure that looked like the Grim Reaper go from room to room. But he didn't bother me. I was horrified. It was early morning. The wind was rough and scary. I told Lisa about it. She said that might have been her brother. We never talked about it again.
the Halloween decorations. 